Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhouse, and we'll have a partly cloudy evening with breezy winds continuing. Tomorrow, another round of isolated showers or storms in the morning will be windy, and then by Monday, we've got sunshine and temperatures are heating up. It's going to feel like summer around here. Here's a look outside over Cedar Rapids. We were able to clear out that cloud cover. Temperatures warming up nicely to 76. We've got low pressure to the north, brought this warm front to the north of us as well. That's helped boost our temperatures after the cloud cover moved out from this morning showers and storms. Thankfully we didn't see too much from that, but look at the northwest corner of the state 93 right now in Sheldon. We're in the 80s to the west 82 in Waterloo, but 70s further east. We've got 76 in Cedar Rapids and 74 in Dubuque. Winds have been gusty statewide. Our sustained winds are between 15 and 25 miles per hour, but our gusts are more on the upper 20s to mid 30s. 31 mile per hour wind gusts in Cedar Rapids. We've got 28 in Waterloo. Winds tonight gusting to about 30 miles per hour, but tomorrow they pick up once again, especially throughout the afternoon. Throughout the south, pumping in warmer air and a little bit of moisture, making it feel humid. We could see gusts potentially up to 40 miles per hour, but those will be sporadic. I'm guessing more sustained 35 mile per hour wind gusts. Two points tomorrow, mid 60s. Same with Monday. Those will be our two stickiest days in the 10 day forecast. Thankfully, a cold front does move through. That's going to drop down our humidity and our temperature some. Maybe you're going to be out and about, especially for the holiday weekend. Just some helpful tips to keep you guys safe out there. Don't forget to drink plenty of fluids. Limit time outdoors or take breaks if you are sensitive to the heat. Don't forget to check on elderly and make sure you don't leave kids or pets in hot cars. Tonight, we're dropping down to the mid-60s, pretty mild under a partly cloudy sky. Tomorrow, we're in the, we're in the 80s area-wide, and we do have a chance for an isolated shower storm. And right now, it looks like a copy-paste forecast of what we had this morning. Overnight, this is tonight at 8 o'clock. Just a few clouds lingering, but notice cloud cover really starts to build. Likely early tomorrow morning, showers and storms will develop out west and eventually reach eastern Iowa. This is 8 o'clock. They should be weakening, but we know future track does not handle this well. It didn't handle this morning storms well. I would say the window of opportunity to continue to see the isolated shower and storm chance will be about 8 to 3 o'clock. Everything should clear out after that in the mid to late afternoon hours, leaving us with just some clouds. Again, don't cancel your plans, but be mindful it may rain for about 20 to 30 minutes, and you may have to just head indoors for that small window of time. City by City forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City nearing 90 or surpassing that on Memorial Day. We've got a cold front that's going to bring us some showers and storms by midweek, and the temperatures will fall down to the 70s for the rest of the 10-day forecast.